obviously the flexibility and stretch already has 12 and 12. Um, it might be nice to add Lila. <coughs> Guys, keep pushing, breathe. Squeeze the heels together. Keep your arms Cirque School offers incredibly comprehensive programming. That way it kind of fits with whatever person walks in the door, their personality, their musculature, um, whatever it is that they're drawn to. So whether or not it's aerial arts or contortion or hand balancing, and each segment of the circus arts works on a different portion of their body. The best advantage of training circus techniques is that it works the whole body. You might think that it's just your arms or just your core, but in order just to lift your legs up, you think it's your arms, but it's your tush and it's your glutes. And the other thing about it is that it's also working your brain, it, creating all these geometric patterns that you have to remember how to utilize your body and your skills. So it's the brain and the musculature that are working and fusing together. I love to come to circus class and in fact on days when I can't because I have work commitments I get actually angry. This is the first workout in my life that I've, ne I've never not wanted to come to. I always want to be here because I love the different variety of activities I can do that challenge both my strength, flexibility and endurance which is unusual. You know there's other places you can go train in various the various apparatus, but there's nowhere else that I know of that has pole, contortion, all the aerial apparatus. I do straps as well, so that I could really build up strength. Hands out, five knee taps, and tap your knee on the ground, five, six, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. It's just, it's a great workout. It's very challenging. Um, you get to do things and it's fun also because you get to like accomplish things. It's more than just, you know, lifting a weight here and there. It's, uh, you actually get to learn how to do skills. And so you feel like you've accomplished something as well as getting a really good workout. On the treadmill it gets very static and you know, you, it's hard to continue doing that, but with this you're always learning something different, you're always doing something different, it's awesome. Um, anytime you take any pictures or tell anyone that they're doing this, it's shock and awe. It's more fun than the gym, but also more rewarding because I can see myself progressing and and mastering tricks that I couldn't do, you know, three months ago, and seeing how my body has changed and how um, I just feel like I can accomplish things. And and looking back is so rewarding to see where I've come from and to where I am now. The greatest risk to the body is to the shoulder. With all the repetitive movements, with carrying and the distractive forces to the shoulder, okay, you could put a big damage or possibly risk to the rotator cuff muscles. The rotator cuff muscles are a major stabilizer of the shoulder. Also, things like tumbling could put compressive forces to the spine. The compressive forces could put a pinched nerve. The pinched nerve could cause problems to the neck. So, most people are not usually accustomed to do these movements. So it's very, very important to, to do these things properly and to consult your uh, circ fitness professional with technique to do things safely.